Minecraft speedrun ranked has become pretty popular lately with its thriving community, the recent playoffs that just occurred, so a lot of people are wondering how to get into Minecraft speedrun ranked. So today I will be showing you exactly how to go about installing Minecraft speedrun ranked on your computer. And I'm assuming that you're starting from scratch and you don't have anything installed. So I'll show a full installation setup guide. First thing to know is that you need a real Minecraft account. If you have a cracked account or use T-Launcher, this will not work. Please purchase a real Minecraft account in order to play Minecraft speedrun ranked. And before we begin, it'll help me out a lot if you subscribe. If you ever need help throughout this process of following this video, my Discord is down below and I'm always free to answer any questions. Right, so the first step to making sure your Minecraft speedrun ranked works is to install Java. Uh, some of you might already have this done, but if you don't, uh, go to Oracle, I'll link this below, and you're going to want Java 21, preferably, to run some of the newer mods. Uh, if you can't, I believe Java 17 is fine but head over to JDK21 on this page. Uh, find the operating system that you're on. I would be on Windows, so I would choose the Windows option and then choose whichever installation option works best. I prefer the EXE, so I'll just click on here and it should install it. And you should see here in a couple seconds, it'll finish up and I can run the EXE. And then as I step through here, it should guide me through the installation process. So the next step is to install MultiMC. MultiMC is pretty great because it lets you manage your Minecraft instances and you can choose and edit them as you please and it just makes managing it way more easy. So go to the page, I'll also link the MultiMC page down below. I'm going to head down to downloads. Again, choose the operating system you're on. I'm on Windows, so I'll just click download. It should install the MultiMC installer. Then once it's installed, you can just extract it uh, here. And then once it's done extracting, head into the multi-mc folder and then just run this multi-mc.exe or whatever uh, runner that you have for the application. Then here, select like the language that you want. Also, make sure to set your Java version to the highest one in this menu right here. Then this will ask how much memory you want to allocate for Java. I do about a quarter of your RAM or like one eighth. So if you have eight gigs, I do like one to two gigabytes of memory for your Java allocation. If you have like 16, I do about two to four. Uh, I have 32, so I'll do like 8,000 and then click next. And here you should have your multi MC. All right, so now you want to install your Minecraft Speedrun Ranked instance. As you can see, I have a couple other instances for other Minecraft stuff. So to make a new instance, go to the top left and click Add. Then click Import from Zip. Then from here, you're going to want to download from a local file or a link. And I've linked this page below. It is the mcsrrank.com page for Minecraft Speedrun Ranked installation. Uh, here, it has a couple options for what type of installation you want to do. The normal pack just has the mod for MCSR ranked and a few other mods to get it running. The pro pack has a couple other useful mods, but I would stick with the all in pack if you download the higher version of Java. So just click on the different version of your operating system. So I have Windows. Go back to multi MC. Paste that link in and click OK. And it should create a new instance. And if you click view mods on this instance, you can see all the different mods it should have installed. And these mods should all be compliant with the Minecraft speedrun rule set. As you can see, guidelines, whitelisted mods brings you to this page. And these are all the mods you're allowed to use for Minecraft speedrunning. Now you're going to want to run Minecraft speedrun ranked. So you're going to want to link your Minecraft account with multi MC. Though it's not the official Minecraft launcher, this is safe. So just close out of here, click on profiles, and then you can manage accounts. Here you can click add Microsoft account. Uh, it'll ask you to open your browser and log into Minecraft and enter this code. So I'll do that. And it's going to ask to 
let this app access your information and it's just your Xbox Live profile information and just it knows your Microsoft account. That's all perfectly fine information to give away. So click accept. I should say you're now logged in. So I'll go back to multi MC and it's logging me in. And there we go. My Minecraft account, my Mojang account shows up here now under Microsoft. So I can close out of this and I can just double click on here. And it should begin to start up Minecraft speedrun ranked. There we go. And now we should be in Minecraft with Minecraft speed and ranked installed. So just a couple useful things. You're going to want to edit your video settings to whatever you like. So I will do that right now for myself. And now my settings should be all set up. So now I just have to click on this big MCSR ranked button here. Then it'll say, please check the privacy policy, all that stuff. You should maybe give a read through here of what you're giving up. And also the guidelines don't be a bad person and once you read those click agree and proceed and now you should be in minecraft speed and ranked so in here you can see some of your replays from your previous games you can search up a profile so like you can search up curry way you can look at the credits there's a store here if you want to buy stuff like tears there is a leaderboard so you can see who is the best player. And you can see your own profile. Now in your Minecraft Speed and Rank, you can adjust some of your settings. So here are some just generic settings to do stuff like show this on your Discord activity, show this on your Twitch, and then in your ranked profile, you can set some other keybinds as well as how many worlds you want to save. Then in the ranked settings you can adjust a couple of things like the blur how to forfeit all that good stuff you can adjust some of the things in a live match like seeing your opponents advancements or spectating at the end or having a pre-generate if it's too much on your computer so you can adjust some of your sound settings so that stuff is not so loud like this sorry about that you have some matchmaking settings so like be only in casual queue, balance, fast or accurate, depending on how you want to get into the game. Then you can see some of your replay settings, so how you want to be as a ghost. Then in here, you can just click start match and say, hey, you're using standard settings uh, as I set up earlier. If you did the regular installation, I don't think you have standard settings. This sets your key binds and all your other settings at the beginning of every match. So it says, hey, do you want to use this or not? So like, yeah, I do. So in here, there's a ranked mode. So you'll race against someone who's a similar ELO as you and you'll gain or lose rank uh, every game you play. There's a casual mode that doesn't affect your rating. There's join room or create room if you want to play a private match with somebody. And there's also a weekly race that you can play with a weekly leaderboard of everybody playing the same, same map. And there's also a Discord server that I recommend joining so you can ask for any help. Also, join my Discord server if you want any help, or you just want to talk with my community of other Minecraft speedrunners. And that should be all. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, subscribe and leave a like down below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I read every single comment, so I can always help out. And if you need any more help, just join my Discord, and I'll make sure to help you out to get your stuff working. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time.